saddle height and body position. Now, it's not an exact science, same as tyre pressure, but there is a range in which getting the right seat height is going to make you more comfortable and efficient on the bike. If I've got my seat a bit too high, it means I slide forward, I'm not pedalling with all of my leg. Well, that's not the end of the world, it's nice to use all your muscles efficiently and get the most out of your power. If I drop my seat slightly, I find I can sit back fully on the saddle and engage my glute muscles properly. The other contact point on your bike that affects body position is, of course, handlebars and stem. Now, a certain degree of adjustability you've got here, you can move the spacers up and down, raise the height of your handlebars, or roll the bars themselves to affect how your hands are sitting. Once you've got your handlebars, next thing that follows on is your controls. I tend to start with my brake levers, setting their height, and then gear shifters, dropper posts, suspension lockouts follow naturally around that. I've gradually raised my brake levers over the years and I find it gets my wrists set up a lot stronger and more powerful when descending.